Doom? Some of us might. Maybe <laughs> me? What are those obvious reasons? You can't crack in Doom. You can't do it. Yeah. If you're doomed, you're in trouble on both of those heroes. You're it's... a Warcraft guy. Doom's in Warcraft, yeah, Doom. right? If you're doomed, you're doomed. You're yeah. doomed, pretty much. There you go. The same, same ultimate as Warcraft. Yeah. Man, no, 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 <laughs> now you're showing I don't even know my hell. <laughs> <Warcraft dogs. laughs> I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Burn me across uh... games here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a hero that's also, he's, he's, he's really cool now, too, because he's a really, he's always been kind of a frontliner, but now he's like a monster. If you got double devour up, you're sitting at like 50 HP per second inside of these fights. You can walk in. A, a couple days into this tournament, all of a sudden, we are seeing him get picked by a bit, too. First couple Ghost. days, group play, we didn't see him too much, but there's the Tusk that you mentioned tusk. a little bit earlier. Yeah. He was open, Vici Gaming going to be able to grab that off the table. How do we like the Tusk for Vici Guts? Could be good here. It's like a classic fade hero, one of his best. Uh, it offers them a save as well if someone's um, getting, you know, blink RP'd on and yeah. getting stunned by a line. You can have that mm -hmm. blink snowball save. So I like it quite a bit. Even if someone's doomed, just snowball can buy some time and, you know, help wear down some of that doom duration. I like that it gives them also ways to just make plays. Now they have a Grim and a Tusk to make plays. I look at Chaos's side making plays in the laning phase. It's pretty much not there. Yeah. Pretty hard. These Lion can, position but... Magnuses are like, ah, oh, you go to your safe lane and try to screw someone in yeah. tower, and if that doesn't work well, you're not doing much in your laning stage. Chaos needs a playmaker, potentially. We look at Vici. What's missing in their lineup? Because everything that I'm hearing from you guys right now makes it sound incredibly stable, very diverse. Ori's hero. We want something more fast-paced, because Tide TB, though, is kind of slow cooldown. You're depending on meta and Ravage, so I think, yeah. you know, his, like, Lena type hero is not that Lena is particularly viable kind of come to mind for me. You are in danger of being counterpicked because Chaos have that last pick. So they're looking for Wii House mid hero. This is something safe, like a DK or Buck. Like that's what I'm thinking for that he's gonna play here. Because even like the damage mitigation from Breathe Fire is decent. It's not amazing versus PA, but you're this you know, you're like come come at me, come do yeah. me. You're trying to soak it. You're not gonna get two shot when PA blinks on you. Yeah. yeah. I would like to see like Wind Ranger band here. I think Chaos getting a playmaker for Weha here. That's also not cooldown dependent. Could be nice. Yeah. Doesn't strike me as a Visage game right now Five against Tide TB. Remaining. Maybe a DK on the side of BG uh, is what we're thinking. Yeah, I still I still think they might do their puck because I know they really like it and okay. it, the leash mechanic is actually pretty nice versus uh versus PA versus Magnus. You're just kind of Screwed. Even you're, if you BKB. you're not too worried about most of your mid matchups when you pick a puck. You're like, not if you pick puck blindly, it's like, oh, well, what's what's the worst they're gonna do? But it isn't a line. No, I'm actually thinking like Insta Hex is pretty okay. annoying to play against. But five position line though, you're not expecting like it's a true. blink hex. That's very true. Until way later on in the game, and you may just be building Lincoln's anyways against Doom. Yeah, that's. I mean, that, that's. Good point. When I hear that item. Lincoln's. <laughs> I already yeah. like. I like it, it. It invokes a very visceral response for me because Lacoste yelled about it. Black yelled about it. But what were they saying? They they just hate that item for yeah. some. It's just I, in some situations you have to like. It's just too good. Like versus Doom, that's probably one of the only situations where I'm like Lincoln's is a good item. Uh, I was casting with Gabe yesterday. I was like Lincoln's is maybe the oh. worst item in Dota, but it's situationally very good. They okay. do the Lena, very oh. squishy, very susceptible to just dying immediately. But you have. Extremely high burst damage now for the PA, and you have Grimstroke well, combo. Well, God they now have a Laguna. They have a double Laguna they can do with Grimstroke. God said Lena type hero, right? You're like, yeah. I don't want the Lena. I want something like the Lena. So they, they go for the Lena. <laughs> Let's get the Lena. Yeah, so what were you scared about with the Lena? That, like Fog said, it's so squishy. So squishy. You get yeah. blinked on by PA, you're just instantly dead. You can't respond to it. Yeah, you get you this Yule Scepter, but once PA is BKB, you're just toast against this. Is that the mid or spirit? Mid -earth spirit. Oh. They're gonna do the Weeha mid or spirit. I'm, I was yes. gonna say it before the panel started too that they have the third oh. hero that we haven't seen it, but okay. I think he can get pressured way too much though in the lane. Ah, so the crazy thing is, you just You're get so double tanky, bracer. Though. You suddenly have fifteen hundred health, yeah. magic resistance. Lena doesn't do enough magic damage to kill this Earth Spirit. With that said, the last, the actual, you know, secure, or he's going to have a good laning stage where he can yeah. secure his farm, but I don't feel like Lena is going to be able to, like, easily kill this Earth Spirit. I just think he can't really get many last hits, though, in the lane. You walk up, you're yeah. going to get stunned every single time you walk up to get anything. Uh, I, I'm excited to see it, though. I'm, I, I, we haven't <laughs> seen, we actually haven't gotten to see Weeha play Earth Spirit since what? Shanghai, was it? 
when he played mid Earth Spirit, when he went Veil and stuff and Blade Mail. Yeah, yeah, it was ages, ages ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, and new, new mid Earth Spirit theoretically even stronger with all the strength bonuses, the bracers coming into play. And you like you can switch your build up, and yeah. that's how Crit Crit was literally hit. Crit literally hit number one MMR playing Earth Spirit and Troll. Okay, so an all exciting right. pick. This should, be, this should be fun. But not necessarily 100% sure how the pick will perform. But I want to ask, do they have the tools to create the chaos that you were basically asking for before we even saw this phase come through? Yeah, they absolutely do have, they do have the tools. I do, like, I do like Vichy's a little bit more, just because it's more, more straightforward. And I think Grimstroke is an incredibly powerful hero, too, to combo with. So I would still lean on their side a little bit. But Chaos has exactly, I think, what they would want to face versus them. Is the Lina going to be the pressure point in your mind, though, gods? It's the hit or miss hero. Yeah, because they've got Lina better laning stage, but this hero can still just get crushed in the mid game. Uh, Ori needs to play a very, very polished game here. Okay, all right. Well, I'm excited to see how this one's going to go. It's going to be the first game of the day. We're going to head down to the casters right now. Thanks so much, Rich. And yes, Black, we are here. It is going to be Vici versus Chaos. They need to create Chaos, the panel said. And it's Weeha Earth Spirit. What's happening, man? I'm not sure. Last time I've seen him play, it was in a pub game. It okay. went really well. He went Radiance, all those good, like, Veil Radiance, just tank up, you know, and just be in there with Radiance, create a lot of damage. Yeah. Looking forward to what he can do with it. <laughs> Haven't seen it in a very long time. It's going to be hopefully good. Well, we can hop into this game, and uh, yeah, I, I was looking at the face that RT was, RTK was making when that, that pick came around. You know, they were all huddled up. You were mentioning they don't even care what they pick. Yeah. They looked at the pick, and he looked, and he was like, what? What's, what's going on there? But uh, yeah, a strong hero, and we'll already be moving out to drop down a ward in the early stages here. Ooh, he ate his fairy fire. That was a big Dubious. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, 85 gold down the drain. That's a good start. Yep. Um, well, <laughs> Vici aren't going to know about that. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna be a little bit confused when he comes out and has a little bit less gold than he normally would. Uh, but as far as sort of last hitting goes uh, in that mid lane scenario, Lina is going to have a little bit of a, a base damage uh, advantage as well. Mm -hmm. But of course, the crawling bait on the Earth right. Spirit, so denying is not going to be as easy. Oh, but I, I think until level yes. 3, he's going to be fine, just last hitting. But after that, it might be a bit more difficult. <laughs> can see some laughing there. Weeha was dropping his items in the mid lane and uh, uh, sort of potentially denying them, just messing around with it a little bit. Um, you know, it's things we've normally seen. <laughs> it's uh, a lot of all chat coming out in this matchup. But yeah, the movement over Vici wanting to come and secure themselves. A couple of runes. Magnus is in the area. We'll see if Misery just going to back out of there. Does not want to tempt fate. That is a very deadly couple of heroes in the early levels. Position 5 Magnus actually being run. Together with the Doom in top lane. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about a position 5 Mag. He will never get his blink tagger at this point. Well, and I think that uh, the panel was talking about, you know, the need for Lion to have a kind of good early start to it. And maybe he can be that one that's uh, going for the, the early blink himself. Having already gone for boots, uh, King RD is going to head off to the bottom lane and try and harass away on this Tidehunter. But... Shouldn't be able to get that much done there, I'd imagine, as early on they were able to find the skewer back on the fade in first blood. My goodness gracious. That was unexpected. Very simple. I <laughs> 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 didn't think the first one would happen in the Doom Magnus lane, but what do we know? They're making it happen. So early on, Chaos. Ready to bring in Yang down low. I do like to see that Vichy, you know, they're getting it on the fun too. Tusk is trading the uh, voice lines as well. Ends up messing up there a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this P, uh, how this Lina is going to itemize. I'm expecting the Agonims build, like Yules, Shadow Blade or Blink into Agonims. Just because they have this Grim Stroke, a double Agonims all could be very deadly. And how do you feel about this matchup in the mid lane? So far it looks like they're trading CS fairly evenly. Is there any kill potential at a certain point? Um. If there's a rotation, Earthspirit can certainly kill the Lina. And I don't really think the Earthspirit can die too. I mean, he has 800 health already. Like, yeah. Way too much for the Lina to, to get through. But I, I, I disagree with the skill build of the Ori here. He, he went Dragon Slave instead of Stun. Mm. Which means he can't actually pressure the Earthspirit too much. It's very simple to stun immediately here every time he comes in for a last hit. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how the mid lane develops. Right now he actually has a level advantage on the Earthspirit. Oh, we did see Fade up there, gonna try and body block out that camp so they can't get any pulls off. But yeah, the continued 
uh, harassing with the right clicks. Weeha just pulls in a couple creeps every now and then. To me, it feels like the bigger issue is just getting levels on the Earth Spirit as he gets the last hit on that range creep. Nicely done. Yep. If he gets to level 6 before Lina, there's definitely kill potential on him. Top lane, Tavo under fire and going to eat the dust as that was the first metamorphosis used. And Misery obviously doesn't have a way to help him out there. Yeah, Task is just so strong with Terror Blade and any range support, honestly. Just so much damage with the tech team. Yeah, you mentioned uh, when the draft came out that you were really surprised that they were able to get that Tusk at the late pick. Yeah, the fourth pick Tusk is usually his first phase or first phase banned, later second phase, and they got it in the fourth pick, is very unusual. And Earth Spirit too, he wasn't touched at all until the very last pick. Well, and meanwhile, Tavo again, he just TP'd back here and going to be punished there, it looked like, with the last remaining bit of Metamorphosis. This is... I mean, at this point, you can't really cover anymore as a Doom. He has one CS. Nothing. I mean, they got the first one that was good, but now he's getting completely shut down. And, and that's, a, that's a weakness of the Magnus. He can't do anything. He has, he has boots, but what is he going to do with the screw level one? There's no damage, can slow a little bit. Yeah. And Tavo is just going to have to take the long walk back. They are still uh, at least somewhat hurting Yang here, but if you compare his game to the Doom right now, Tidehunter just hits level 4 while Doom is still walking back to lane at level 2. Uh, yeah. Granted, Doom does have boots, but it's, it's going to be a little bit. There's no real kill threat here on the Tide. As I said, he's almost dying. Oh, uh, they're thinking about it. Actually, HFN avoided the Anchor Smash, so he had full damage. But if he ever gets Anchor Smash, there's like zero kill potential against his Tidehunter. They do rotate in the Tusk and going to bring him a salve. Mm -hmm. Just oh. wants to make sure Yank can stay in this lane. Tide's lane should be very good now. Mid lane, still very even. This Earth Spirit is running 1.1k health already, man. So much HP. Incredible. So, uh, talk to me a little bit about the way that he plays this Earth Spirit. Are we going to see him, like, rotate with level 6 to find a kill? Or do people come to his lane to try and uh, secure a kill on the Lina? I think he will have to rotate himself, unless the Lion actually manages to find a good rotation to mid lane. Because he, he won't be able to solo kill Luna, uh, the Lina for sure. There's just no damage for him. And... Rotating to his like Terror Blade could be a good idea before he hits level 6. But he will, he will definitely be the playmaker for the team because right now they're losing both side lanes. EA, obviously having a good time, but Tide getting more than you would want out of that at this point in the game. Yeah. And, and it's only going to get harder for the PA. Right. Level 5 on the Tide soon. Higher level than the PA. Never something you want to see if you play 2v1 lanes. And he can just sort of bully her out of here as well, like not even able to get easy last hits it feels like. Uh, but the five minute mark is coming around and it looks like Chaos is going to be able to secure themselves two runes, uh, two, two as well split. as Vici get theirs. Yep. Mid lane, half a level advantage for the Lina now. There's potential kill threat, because Earth Spirit is half health already, so we'll have to look out for that. It does sort of feel like the elephant in the room right now is going to be this Doom. Tavo has been able to get level 3, so since it was a basically full tri lane for a little while, he's not too far behind in experience, at least there. Uh, as Misery has already moved over towards mid, as well as the Tusk, so I'm going to make sure that Weeha does not get ran upon here and the roll forward trying to find a kill, but Tusk shows up and he's going to put the kibosh on that as well, another rotation mid. DY there as well. They're going to go for the Ink Swell, skewer away. Did Nothing to, doing. Yeah, tried to set up for a three-man gank. The Lion was behind already. But the communication was a bit off. Like, Lion didn't really move in when we had it. But Tusk was in position already to save anyway. So it's, it's good that the Lion didn't show because he would have just died. Oh, miss on the light strike right there. Good dodge by Misery. Yeah, would have been a kill because level six. We had, will have to be careful now. There's a lot of kill threat. And all of this has meant that HFN is still stuck down here bottom trying to deal with Yang, who has level 6, and if he pops Ravage in range with an Anchor Smash, could maybe find that kill onto the PA as well. Yeah, but we'll have to be careful because if you don't pop lane, Doom I mean, actually just gets brought down by a 3-man rotation again. Yeah. It's just too much damage. The Tech Team plus the Terror Blade Illusion is just too much damage. Nothing you can do. HFN just getting up in this Tide Hunter's face. No points in Gush, otherwise Tide could think about turning onto him. But this means that they're going to give the lane over for a moment at least. Yeah. It looked like to to King R, E, or HFN comes back. Tide already got to Vlad's minute yeah. seven. He's insanely farmed for for the position he's in. You compare that to the Doom man. I love a lot of Doom. He's just tanking the tower bot lane. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, and it, it actually doesn't matter. Uh, he yeah. just has infinite uh, life there, and we'll be able to walk away from him. EY. Again, they find Tavo. This dude slowed down. They have the shard block as well. Good skewer away from Misery. And that is going to make sure that Tavo is able to escape. And the roll forward from Weeha, able to jump here onto DY, reapplying Magnetize now. We'll be able to find this kill, it looks like, onto the Grimstroke. Yeah. The rotation as expected. Of course, he didn't get the kill he wanted to. He definitely wanted to get the TV there. Used the big cooldown for that as well. But, you know, if you rotate, you get what you can get. So. Oh, big plays here, maybe? Oh, King RD couldn't quite get in range. Tide is just gonna pressure the hell out of the bot tower now. With his Vlads, could fall very quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You see the rotation top, and that means that somebody has to come to defend the tower mid against Lina, and now people have to go back bottom and defend against the Tide Hunter. Feels like Vici are always getting something out of the map whenever there's a movement. Yeah, killing this Tide is gonna be insanely hard. He didn't even skill Ravage, he just went to 3 4 build. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck killing that guy. <laughs> Tavo trying to burn through this stack, but will be found a light strike array, every damn thing used, and Tavo tips Ori for some reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks for the light strike array into Laguna. In with Lion here. Okay. They can't reset really up anything, they have no damage. Yeah, we have still 30 seconds for Magnetize. Yeah, and no TP either. So won't be able to rotate for this one. Although, as I say, that he's moving towards top lane. Well, they still don't have the Magnetize, but with the Doom rotating as well, it looks like that's going to be enough to ward off Beachy Gaming. They are not efficient around the map at all, though. Chaos, that is. And 2k gold did already. You can just see how much more efficient VG is around the map. Roll in. In trouble. Silence the stun. Let's just end up translating into DY. Back and fine. Is Earth Spirit not having too much of an impact here? Oh, HFN, sick plays there. Able to get the invis and then switch back the other direction. So, using Blur effectively, Misery also going to skewer away. But this does mean, of course, that was the Terrorblade using Metamorphosis and starting to take that tier 1 tower. Looks like it's going to go down. Yep. Typical rotation with the TB. Just going to go to the jungle now. If I'm up there, wait for the next meta. Probably take the next objective. Titan dipping to the top lane. Taking TB spot. They can't really deal with the Tide Hunter at all right now. Even if they were to Doom him, they need like three or four heroes to even kill him. Oh, Lion's and trouble. Again, Lion found. Oh my god, the damage that comes out from that. Just so quick, and he is still walking away from this one. No gush available. As the stun in just a second. Doesn't want to take too much damage to roof off that Kraken Shell. Now the rotation forward. They do have the Doom, and I mean, taking a couple of tower shots and also being fully wrapped around upon. This might be a kill on the Tide Hunter. <laughs> Although Fade, he has the snowball save. Over to the creeps to roll in the other direction. And that might keep him alive long enough. Can they do it in time? And Yang able to get off the anchor smash and just walk away. Takes the whole duration doom and ravage now to turn it as well. And Tabo again hits the deck. I mean we spoke about it. Like they doomed him, they magnetized him, magnetized immediately nullified by the Kraken Shell, obviously. And they just don't have the damage to bring him down. Very nice snowball save. It's rough, man. This game is yep. incredibly hard for Chaos right now. Lina getting the mid tower as well. Not much misery can do about that. You should be careful. One more hit into okay, He's fine. Oh, the DD. Oh, the rotation though coming from the Lion. He wasn't able to get through those trees there, but maybe still able to get in range. The slowdown coming. The Earth Spike is open. That snowball save yet again. And are they going to be able to kill off Ori? They will take him down now. Fade. Gonna get critted, but looks like that's gonna be the end of the altercation in mid. That is the problem with the Lina against the PA. You're so squishy. And if PA ever gets a Desolator up, you can just die in one or two hits. Yeah, it's something that we're gonna need to keep in mind. As good as this Yang Tide has been, you know, Lina is a big part of the win condition. Granted, TB probably a larger part of it, and he is sitting top of the net worth right now. Uh, but PA has still been able to farm pretty well. Yeah. This TB is having an amazing game. Um, the problem with PA is he can't really fight too well into the Radiant lineup until he gets his BKB up, which is going to be way, way later. Yeah. Probably opting to go for the... Oh no, he has a madness. He won't need the Battle Fury. He's going to the Dazzle BKB. Already Misery moves over and is going to allow HFN to help take those Ancients a little bit quicker. Yeah. Triple stack. What you like to see coming from HFN. Blur makes it so much easier to take those Ancients when they just don't hit you. Yeah, they're just like, huh? Oh, you hit me? What, what is hitting me? 
Yeah, I don't know, they, they definitely need to remove that mechanic cost. It's, it's weird. You can even do it with Roshan. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, taking a look at the net worth here is actually we do have a smoke up. Looks like they're trying to find PA jungling and Blur is going to be on cooldown. Tusk going to be the one further forward. HFN, they do have the jump point to Misery if they can get it in time, but the chain stun coming. The skewer needing to live and HFN trying to walk away slow yet again. Decides to turn and fight on a DY. They've already used the Laguna Blade off onto the Lion it looked like. And now the chase forward for Fate. He's going to be slowed yet again, but Yang going to be able to walk out of there, or he does get the kill, but if you go for the PA, you possibly find a much higher value target, and now you really just end up losing your life to chase forward and power coming out yet again. Dragon Slave, the stun Snowball, able to get that Tomb off before the well, Tidehunter used anything at all, so that might keep HFN alive yet again with the chase forward and eventually trying to run. Roll in from Weeha, slowing everybody down, trying to jump to his buddy, and HFN able to walk away. The miss uphill, trying to run, and HFN actually lives through it. Chaos might be able to keep everybody alive here, although it looks like Weeha will be the one that pays the price. Saves his PA though, I think it was not too bad. And the biggest problem here was just Ori. I don't know why he went for the line. He could have just gone with his teammates and blow up the PA. It was a very interesting decision. And now I just get the free Roche because they obviously doomed the Tide Hunter. He still has the Ravage available. Yeah, they used RP in that last fight as well, so it does give that big opening now. Yep. Metamorphosis has worn off. It has. I don't know they do have about the Vlads. Yeah. Magnetize is also on cooldown. They just don't have team fight damage right now. They do ever have the finger of death. They're thinking about going in for the moment. The light strike rate's already there. The lift up the rolling. The Aegis on the ground. Ravage the interrupted and Ori does manage to find that Aegis. But now the jump forward. It's so much damage onto Vici. Can they kill him all off in time? The skewer four onto four. And Doom running away. They're able to get the Sunder off. HFN thinking about jumping back in again, but he is able to walk away with that fortuitous invis rune. Tight ping, like two feet, you got the gush on. And uh, looks like Tabo will get one more devour, but eventually will be brought down. And you can understand the feeling of wanting to jump in there, but as you said, there are no ultis on the side of Chaos. Yeah, that was a very questionable play. I mean, of course, you, wanna, you don't want to just give up a free Aegis, but sometimes you know you have to, and this was one of the cases where you absolutely have to. You can't fight into this Ravage. Yeah. I mean, if, I think if Misery gets the skewer out of the pit, that starts to look a little better, but he couldn't quite get him over the edge. Yeah, it's a level one skewer, I believe. Yeah, there's just, the range is just not there. Yeah. Well, and meanwhile, a roll in wants to find this TB. Paparazzi, magnetized. He has Manta style to get rid of it. He doesn't even want to get rid of it. They can reapply this, magnetize. The silence is there, though, onto Earth Spirit, and uh, he's just dead. I don't, I mean, it looks really weird. He just goes in by himself. Now Lion is in trouble as well. Yeah. Well, Hex, give him the taunt. Give him the taunt and walk away. Yeah. Doesn't happen. Chaos, like, they look really separate around the map right now. Like, why is Earth Spirit going in there alone? With plus one, they can potentially kill him, but even then, he has the mantle to get rid of the Magnetize. Looking a bit rough right now. It feels like everybody wants to make something happen, but because of that, and everybody's on the same page, that mm -hmm. just not much is happening. Now bot lane, they're getting caught out again. Yeah, they've got PA dead. HFN, one of the only heroes that was having a good game for yeah. Chaos, and well, Tavo does look like he's going to be able to escape. But 16 minutes in, it's an 8,000 gold lead for Vici. They pretty much lost three out of three lanes. We, we heard David talk about gods that if that happens, if that ever happens, it's so hard to actually come back into the game. We see here. Right in this case. Yeah, I mean, you look at Misery right now, and he's just like, all right, I need to get into some type of a, an item build, and I'm just farming on their side of the map for a little while. Yeah. Position 5 mech, he has 400 gold right now, and he's 1.8k to get to the Blink Dagger. It's just why I... I just dislike the position 5 magnet. He, he just doesn't do anything other than Empower. Yeah. And of course, the lion wanting to get towards his own blink dagger. Uh, he's significantly closer to it, but it's still you need like a couple of these other items that just like make you tanky in it stuff. Like they've, they've got the Vlads on the PA as Fade wants to find Tavo shards, revealing his positioning. And there's four Vici heroes here, and only one of Chaos. He's, he's just dead. I had enough for you. They're just farming three lanes, punishing every move Chaos makes. 
The vision game is really good too. They see like almost the entire side of Dyer. Getting the tier 2 bottom for free. They might even want to threaten high ground. They still have the Ravage. They have uh, Metamorphosis up. Aegis on Lina, of course. This time around, uh, Chaos will have significantly more ability to take a fight since they've got all of their ultimates up. And, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that normally you think of Tidehunter as this big combo breaker when a, a, an RP goes off, but you do have the Doom, um, which can sometimes stop that from happening if they're able to find the big combination. But uh, you need the items to make that happen. Yeah. Foreman smoke now by VG going up and then going back down. Let's see if somebody activates the trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Too smart. Were you a Yu-Gi-Oh player? I was a Yu-Gi-Oh player. And I watched it too. It's time to do <laughs> Yu-Gi, you activated my trap card. <laughs> it's uh not gonna happen this time. Yeah. They're just hanging out on that high ground. It is so scary right now for Chaos. If they if any hero dies in front of their base, they will just get like pushed by this TB. Be really careful. TB halfway to Viscardi. He's so huge. Radiance top tower is yeah, this attack. is uh, a very tough fight to take. Mm. Do have the Blink Dagger done for the Lion. Can maybe be a game changer for them. Uh, Bale also done on Earth Spirit. Yeah, I mean, it's quite ineffective at this point of the game. Just like, he, he didn't really seem to, to find the gank that he wanted to find. Like He always tried, but the enemy team was just always prepared or would just run away. Oh, HFN does have Blink out if he Blink's needs right. to. Yeah. The Snowball's going in pretty deep. Let's see if they can punish it. They want to try and fight this for sure. The kickback onto the Tusk and now the Soul Bind. Mm -hmm. No follow-up at all. So Vici overextend. Yeah, I think Vici should literally just bar five men the top tower and let the Terror Blade come the bottom half of, half of the map and just converge to the top lane. I don't know why they're so stubborn and staying mid lane. Just get the whole map control, contain the enemy in the base, out farm them, wait for the next road and end the game. It looks like that is going to be their call now, and Chaos on the other side going to move out and try and possibly de-ward some of these wards in their jungle. Itemization, Scotty almost on the Terror Blade. Lina went for the Shadow Blade, now going to the BKB. Okay. Seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. Guardian Greaves, next item build up for Tidehunter. It does just still feel like the, the big difference maker in this is how much that Tidehunter was able to get out of the lane compared to the Doom. Doom is rendered completely useless this game. Oh? Stun? Hey, the gas position. Not bad. It was the second time we got caught out of position. Oh, they did use Finger of Death for this one though, and now far forward Weeha does not have a way out of this. And roll actually no he does! Miss up hill? Oh, oh god, he goes down. <laughs> the illusion hit killed him. Couldn't quite get uphill there. Looked like 60% illusion damage. That's more Nerf than enough, right there. Yep. Radiance bottom Terrible finish this guardy. They can't really get too much out of this meta. They will just keep farming for now. I mean, the way this game is going, they really don't mind going late game. So yeah. I mean, you do have the blink dagger done oh now for the tide hunter as well. Um, Doom is trying to get towards a BKB. What else? The mag. Has Arcane Boots queued up after the, uh, or before the Blink Dagger? We'll see if that's what he decides to go for. I hope not. They need a comeback item, and yeah. Arcane Boots is not that. And of course, everybody trying to go into the BKB on the Chaos side. Right. They just need it against the Tidehunter. That's, that's also good. why I would like to see the Agonims on Lina, just to burst through that PA, even through the BKB. Right. Yeah, it definitely uh, seems like... Uh, They've been able to find some of these pickoffs with the Shadow Blade. Oh, PA in trouble here? I oh. uh, can't cancel the TP though. Yeah. Good decision there just to get out of dodge. And yeah. she's getting closer and closer to her BKB after having finished off the Deso Vlads. And uh, again, like we've seen time and again the strength that you have with a Mag PA. And she's been keeping up in farm to some extent. Still 4,000 gold behind the Terra Blade. Now the problem is with PA, it's so hard for you to kill Terror Blade alone, you need a lot of team support. I mean, look at his armor, Ooh. he has 38 armor right now. Rotation in. Mm -hmm. Weeha could be the one that leads Dyer's the charge. They are all smoked up here. Paparazzi gonna show in lane. Yang, can they blow him up in time? They're thinking about it. Jump forward, Hex. They don't have any follow-up, though. Um, and that smoke is not gonna bear fruit. I 
they can kill the Tide Hunter, but only if they got a Doom on him. Because otherwise the PA can't jump on him. Right. Does he have a BKB yet? Not quite. Needs another 500 gold for that. And it feels like you also want to, in these cases, I mean, there's so many targets you want to do. You want to take out the, the Tide Hunter, also making sure that you could do him the Terra Blades, so that he doesn't get sundered. Even the Lina. Yeah, like everybody. Yeah. I think best case scenario is if you doom the Tide Hunter. And this Terra Blade is just going to shred you, though. I know, right? It's it's really tough. He's also going MKB next. It's quite greedy, really not going for a BKB at all. But. I mean, if he's doing that, then maybe you could just control him with the Lion. You can. Oh. The Guna Blade use in misery. Some dirt. Yeah. I mean, he's desperately trying to just farm up to that Blink Dagger. Yeah. Lion has his Blink Dagger now, I believe. Yes, he does. Potential setup. Yep. They have the BKB done for the PA. Could be another smoke rotation here. It feels like they have to catch Vici out of position and separate it, but Vici wisely, as you've been saying since that uh, club in the mid lane, they've been pretty much been playing together. Yeah, Roshan is up. They're just going to take that now. It's funny, TB's only level 14, but he's like 17k network. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just split pushing with the illusions all day long. No need to really no. put yourself into danger. And they're no. taking this without even metamorphosis. Yeah. So the scan is going to hit and They can't chaos. contest. They just can't contest. It'll be too late to the party. Yeah. Although BKB finished up on a PA now. She will be able to jump on a Titan to potentially kill him. Five man smoke up as well. Yep. Get down a lane quicker. I mean, they're probably just going to go five man middle now. Right. Like this Magnus, he can never ever get a good AP, I think, if BG is just careful. They have the Ravage, they have Yule, they have... Even if he just squares in, TB might just kill him with like three hits. Ori is away from the rest of his team. It's still so hard to take this fight as Chaos are going to push down this bottom lane. Courier looks like it might get taken out. That's going to reveal their positioning as Ori TP's in. Yeah. Don't end up killing off that Courier Light Strike. Ray going to connect on the PA and now the chase forward. But Ori has already gone Shadowblade Invis. HFN doesn't really have a way out of here. They still have Vision onto him. The Snowball forward can't get the BKB off in time. Can he? Mabel, they have to get happen now. No, the Ravage. Everything followed up together. And HFN tries to jump away but will eventually taken down, fully controlled. Those look like they're going to take down Misery as well, and Vici just eviscerating chaos here. Yeah, didn't even use his BKB at the end anymore. Lion also going to pick up on the sideline there. Uh, just... It's hard at this point. Yeah. The Terrible is just so tanky, you can't kill him anymore. The Tide Hunters are so tanky. The only person you can really kill is the, the Lina, from the course at least. You don't want to commit your BKB to Alina because she's going to heal herself, she has Shadow Blade to get out, she even has a cheese. And I think that that little movement looks weird there, but, you know, obviously, oh, you will Scepter lift up, they've got Weeha, Tavo moving in, wants to do more, he's going to be able to find it onto that Lina, but now all of the damage in the world being laid out, they already had the Soulbind together, there's the follow-up stun, all the magnetized when he comes out of this, possibly trying to kick away one, but will eventually be killed off RP. On yep. to two? No? Hasn't used it? Okay. I just pump faked it. They need to save this one because you can't really take the fight after the fact. And he's dead. Double kill there. The buyback coming from Misery. They need everybody to be alive to take this fight really and two are still dead so they might just need to give up the first lane of barracks. Yeah. Stun onto Terrorblade. Pull him in with the skewer. They still have that RP if they want to use it. Sun and the jump well. forward from Yang. Yep. It's just too scary. Roll forward could come from Weeha here. It's not an easy kill by any stretch of the imagination. Paparazzi just having so much armor, and now the roll in on to just about everybody magnetized, as well as the blade mill, but Paparazzi back up to full HP. The reflection might end up killing off the Magnus himself, and HFN using this 10 second BKB to do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Vici Gaming are so dominant in this, and I, I don't know if they have an answer. I don't think they have to stop. GG's GG called. called yeah. I mean, when the Magnus dies to one Terrorblade Illusion because he keeps trying to get an RP in, then, then you know game's rough. That was a stomp, Black. It was a stomp. I think a very solid draft.